What's up, YouTube? Hey, I gotta talk about this C Mac situation, man, and him getting jumped by his gang and shit, bro. Deep down, man, y'all know this shit foul, bro. I don't even gotta say much, but I'ma still talk about it. Y'all know this shit foul, bro. Before I start this, man, I wanna say something to C Mac's mom, bro. His mom. And I mean, no disrespect by this. I mean, no disrespect to anything. You know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to teach. You need to get this shit together. You need to tighten up, lady. You know your son suffered with mental health issues. You know your son is on the spectrum. You most likely have known this since he was a child. So I don't get why you allowed him to participate in all this unnecessary street shit. I don't get it. I know a mom can't stop her son from doing everything. I know a mom can't stop her son from, from getting out here and getting into certain little situations and certain altercations and stuff like that. But, hey, a mom can do something about trying to stop her son becoming a full-fledged fucking gang member, face tats, all that, man. And she know he on the spectrum. Come on, man. And like I said, I mean, no disrespect. But you got to look in the mirror and you straight got to check yourself as a parent. As a parent of somebody with mental health issues and mental health disabilities, you need to check yourself, man. You parents gotta protect y'all children out here, man. You, especially if you know they dealing with disabilities and, and all type of mental health problems and stuff. Y'all gotta do better at protecting, man. And like I said, this shit start at home with the parents first. Now onto you niggas that did this shit to bro. Y'all know y'all foul. Like, nah, I'm for real. Y'all know y'all filed for that shit, bro. We saw the video. We saw how bad y'all did that nigga, man. Y'all niggas filed for that, G. Y'all went 10 on 1 against a nigga with disabilities. Think about that, bro. Over some shit he said or did when he was, what, 12 or 13? When he was a when he was a child? We finna get to the meat of this shit, though. You niggas wanted to embarrass the homie. You niggas wanted to embarrass him. Y'all wanted to do him bad. Y'all wanted to make sure he was on social media looking bad. It's that same crabs in a bucket, crabs in a barrel shit that go on in every hood across America, bro. That hating shit. That's why I commented on bro video and said that DP shit not flying in places like Chicago or St. Louis, man. It's just not. Niggas ain't going for that shit, bro. You try that shit here, somebody gonna hide in your garbage can and surprise you when you pull in your driveway, you hear me? Hey, and to C Mac, look, if you ever see this video, man, look, I know you be clicking on videos of yourself and shit, because I saw you do it in that one video, bro. You was watching the nigga talk about you. But look, if you ever see this, man, I need you to understand, bro. Take my warning. Take heed to my warning, bro. Get off that gangbang and shit, bro. I know it's going to fuck up your brand. I know it might fuck up a little money for you. But you can still do your social media thing, man, and be a YouTube personality. Just leave that gang shit alone, bro. Leave that 5-5 five five shit alone, man. You go back around them niggas, man. They liable to do something worse to you next time, you hear me? They liable to be plotting on your ass to do something worse to you, you hear me? Like, that wasn't no just, oh, uh, uh, he did something foul. Let's, let's, let's discipline him real quick. Nah, bro, that was like flat out, let's embarrass this nigga. Let's, let's bust his shit. Let's fuck him up to the point where we embarrass this nigga online. You hear me? That's what they wanted to do, bro. I wouldn't be surprised if these niggas try to kill you, bro. Get away from them, bro. Stay away from them. Niggas do you like that. I'm not your dogs, man. I'm not your day ones, bro. But I understand C-Mac dealing with mental health issues, so... He fuck around and hear me say something like that and think I'm hating or think I'm like telling him to to be a bitch. But no, I'm not telling you to be a bitch. I'm telling you to leave that gang shit behind, bro. This shit is unnecessary for you, man. You got a character. You got charisma, man. You funny. You a funny nigga, bro. And, and I just hate to see something unfortunate happen, bro. All because, you know, a motherfucker wanted to be down with some shit. Motherfucker wanted to get famous off some off some gang shit. Like I'd hate to see something happen. You look, you seem like a cool dude, bro. And when I heard your mom voice, shit, that that shit had me that shit had me sad, bro. Cause I could hear the concern in her in her voice, man. And I know she was on live watching you and her seeing you like that, bro. I know that fucked with her, man. That's why I'm just telling you, man. Get out of this gang shit. Leave that street shit alone, man. Leave that shit behind. You in your thirties, man. 
keep moving forward you can become a character do what you do be funny on the internet but leave that gang shit alone bro these niggas are gonna kill you eventually bro they gonna try to rob you take your shit Hey, bro, it's gonna get ugly, cuz, cuz these not your guys, bro. What I wanna see C-Mac do is lock in with Adam-22 and No Jumper and, and, and really, and really lock in with them boys and get a bag with them, man. Like, it's, it's money over there, C-Mac, bro. Like, you can leave that, that gang shit alone and flat out have your own little podcast or something. Some, some, some cool with Adam, you know? And I know Adam, he, he, he not gonna just turn you down or deny you, man. He fuck with you, bro. He rock with you. He rock with the type of person you are. You hear me? Otherwise, he wouldn't have had you on the show that many times, you know? So, I just want you to get 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 it through your head that this gang shit is not forever, bro. I'm not your guys, bro. They don't love you, bro, since they did you like that, man. They don't. They not. Nah. Keep it pushing on them niggas, man. Level up on them niggas, bro. I got faith in you. And look, y'all, I ain't trying to sound like no bitch or nothing or no hoe or nothing or tell him to hoe out or nothing like that. that. Ain't what I'm doing, man. I got, dude, best interest in my heart right now, man, because I, I see what's going on, man. You can see in the video that that bro was shook up by what just happened. He ain't expect them niggas to go that hard, you know? He ain't expect them niggas to beat him like that, you know? So I just want bro to get away from that bullshit, man. Sitting here thinking like we done lost a lot of people in the music and entertainment business out in LA, man. And, and I don't wanna see I don't wanna see that keep keep happening to niggas, man. We just lost Slim. Motherfuckers just lost Draco, you know. A lot going on out there, man. And and I really want this nigga to 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 settle down and, and, and chill out on that shit, you know. I don't wanna see bruh get fucked up or get shot, get killed, none of that, man. Cause it ain't worth it, bruh. A lot of what bruh doing is entertainment. And, and you can tell, bro, it's straight, it's, it's, it's for entertainment purposes only, man. So, I don't want to see no real shit happen or no, no deadly shit happen to bro all because of, of entertainment and social media and what's going on on the internet, you know? It's the fake world, you know? I call the internet the fake world, man. It's just another case where this young man mental health is overlooked. It's like, don't nobody give a fuck. Everybody just care about the character that bro portraying. Everybody just care about the five five, you know, the 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 crib shit, you know. Motherfuckers don't see the real person behind this nigga, man. Motherfuckers don't see the 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 real the real person that wanna fit in and just wanna be accepted in this world behind this shit, bro. And and a lot of that is is people just ignoring the the fact that a lot of people suffered, a lot of people that suffer wanna be accepted, man. Nothing more, nothing less, man. A lot of people that suffer from these mental health disorders, man, they be alone and they just want to fit in, man. Real talk. Anyway, y'all be easy out there. Love y'all boys. One. HL gang, bitch. HL gang, bitch.